Hi guys, I'm Allison. I'm an esthetician at Skin Salvation Acne Clinic in San Francisco. And I wanted to talk to you guys today about something called Candida. Candida is an overgrowth of yeast that naturally occurs in our digestive tract. However, can overgrow and become imbalanced after taking antibiotics or other prescription medicine, um, stress, diets that are heavy in processed foods, um, and this can be problematic for many reasons. Um, here at Skin Salvation, we see it affect our client's skin as well as their digestion. Um, some side effects of a candida overgrowth that you might note are uh, chronic fatigue, recurrent infections such as sinus infections, yeast infections, urinary tract infections, mental fog, um, poor digestion as in slow digestion, um, skin complications can result in very resistant acne and some fungal infections. Um, so how to balance a candida overgrowth? The best way that we know and that we recommend is to do something called a candida cleanse. There are many forms of the cleanse out there in existence. Um, however, we recommend for clients to do it for one to three months, preferably two to three months to really eradicate uh, the yeast from the digestive tract. Uh, this involves cutting out any form of sugar that the yeast can potentially feed on and grow and prosper. So by cutting out sugar from the diet, this will effectively kill off the yeast. So when talking about sugar, we're not just talking about processed sugar, we're also talking about fruit, we're talking about starchy things such as bread, um, beans, legumes, even certain vegetables such as potatoes, sweet potatoes, um, squashes, and then um, obviously no fruit, even though it is not a form of processed sugar, it is still a form of sugar that can be converted and can be digested by the yeast. So the only fruit that's allowed is actually lemons or limes, and then um, in addition to that, no dairy, no fungus like mushrooms. The only grains that are allowed are quinoa, millet, buckwheat, buckwheat and amaranth, but that's in small, small amounts, I believe. With each meal, it should be no more than 20% of the meal. Um, and then again, any form of sugar, even in vegetables like beets or carrots or sweet potatoes. Also no caffeine and no alcohol. Um, so this is a brief kind of overview of what the cleanse looks like. And ideally you'll be eating lots of greens that will cleanse out your system. You can have um, good organic meat, fish, uh, again, small amount of quinoa, buckwheat, amaranth, or millet. Um, millet's actually a really great alkalizing grain. And the goal is to really cleanse out your system <clears throat> and to ultimately have a balanced gut flora and intestinal flora. So Lisa, our esthetician here at Skin Salvation, is going to share with you her personal diary of what going through the candida cleanse looks like and feels like. I've personally done the cleanse myself. It's a bit challenging at first, but it's actually very empowering. I learned a lot about cooking. I learned a lot about um, self-care and just really taking some time to do, do something that, um, although may not be the easy way out, for the long run will be really good for my body and my skin. So, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about Candida. Thank you, and look forward to checking out Lisa's Candida Diaries.